Welcome back folks. This one is about how to build a strong watch list and how to do this. I'll show you a little pointers on how we built today's watch list. How did we come up with a few tickers that ended up being doing pretty much okay, more than okay in fact. So basically before the market opens, um, you have to look at what's moving, who's moving, which ticker is moving up, who's the best out there and why is it moving up and this morning we had MIDD and WBT MIDD offered shares for buying WBT and you have to look at the news and why is it going up like this and when you look at the small prints you see that um, WBT was offered 0 0.1240 times the shares of MIDD and when you look at the price of MIDD, the correlation between the two didn't match. The price of WBT was still too low. It should have been around $20 to compensate the, um, the number that they were offering. So basically, looking at it pre-market, we pretty much know it's going to move f further. I'll give you another example. Let's say MIDD offered uh, shares uh, a flat flat fee of $19 a share. Basically what's going to happen, WBT is going to go flat at 19 because you know they're going to get bought for 19. Who's going to buy for more when, when the uh, MIDD is going to give them 19? So you have to look at small prints. Why is it moving up? And is there room for anything further? We called the, um, in the watch list saying 17.5C for May, obviously. Uh, the monthly. If you buy anything um, for the premium under 2.5, it brings you to to um, 20 at expiration. If it expires at 20, it brings you to break, uh, break even. So anything further than 20, or while we get there on our way to the um, uh, mid May when the expiration occurs, um, you'll make money on anything above 20 if you buy something, uh, if you buy a premium under 2.5. So basically this is pretty much what happened. Uh, if you look at what happened at the open, it pretty much took off almost right away. And if you took the 17.5 C, they were around 240, 250, very close to that. And at the end of day, they were almost doubled or even a little more than that because I think they, they went a little over $5. So that's a 100% play on something that still has four weeks until expiration. So when you build your watch list, you look at who's moving wildly and why. And this was a acquisition from MIDD and they had room to move further. Um, who, who else is moving the market lately? Uh, in the news, we have Kathy Woods. Kathy Woods uh, from ARC will buy and sell, and a lot of people will follow her plays. And you know that if you look through the news, you'll see that she bought Palantir, PLTR. And at the open, we are opening just above the 200 EMA, and start we started to take off from there, which is a you know almost 4% play uh, intraday, which is pretty good for uh, PLTR. So this was in the watch list. Why? Because Kathy Woods is not, I'm not commenting at all on if, if the ARC is good, um, a good analysis or is a good investment firms or anything. I'm just commenting on the fact that a lot of people are following what she's doing. So this will bring volume. And to that, I invite you to look at the volume providers video that we have posted a few months back and it will give you a few ideas and a few pointers on how to build your own watch list as well. Now, what else you can look at? Earnings. Which earnings we had yesterday that were really um, worth uh, noting? We had Netflix. Netflix tanked um, after reporting, although they beat, um, but a lot of people were a little concerned about a few things. I'm not going to get into the details. However, who's going to get affected? People in the same kind of field. And we have Roku. And Roku 
had this overreaction on Netflix earnings. Why am I saying that it's an overreaction? I'm saying overreaction because this reaction doesn't belong to them. It's not something that is affecting them uh, directly. So basically you have the overreaction and you know that the, at the open, um, we should have something that's going to start moving up at least to yesterday's close. So this overreaction will get bought and we'll move up to where, where we were yesterday. Why? Because there was nothing in Netflix's uh, earnings that affected Roku in a negative way. And you see what happened. Obviously, they have you have people that have long-term investments with a stop loss that gets triggered right when the um, bell rings, not uh, after hours or uh, before the market opens. Um, so basically, this is what happened. We must have had a few uh, triggers, a few uh, stop losses triggering. However, you see that we got a wick at the bottom and it got bought right away. So if you look at the previous day, it moved back up to the previous day's price activity pretty much as planned. So this was in a watch list as well. You know that this overreaction will get a move up. Um, who else had earnings? We had ISRG. ISRG, one would think that with the pandemic, um, they will have a better business situation because they're working from uh, further away. People are now thinking that we don't have to be physically present. And this, this idea of having um, the pandem pandemic going away, the CEO said their, their numbers are going to look even better now that the pandemic is on its way out hopefully. So um, the previous all-time high was 826.81, which is the yellow line in this chart here. Uh, uh, 826.81, yeah, yellow line. Basically, we're moving above all-time high after earnings. Um, basically, we're in no man's land. No one's bought there before. So you know that at the open, a lot of people will be because we've hit all time high, some people will take profit. However, same thing, that wick is down precisely to the 200 EMA on the five minute and it bounced right there. Took off right away because it was very bullish. A lot of firms um, upgraded the price target. Some upgraded it from underperform to perform, uh, which was extremely bullish uh, and, and it, ended up being almost up 10% on a $900 ticket, which is very impressive. So this one was in the watch list following excellent earnings, just like Netflix was in Roku was in the, in the watch list because of an overreaction on Roku. We had news on Arc and Kathy Woods entering uh, PLTR and we had news on WBT getting bought and this was all in the watch list and um, we ended up playing Tesla. Tesla went for a bounce on pretty much below the 700 line which was bought right away. The reason for that is pretty simple. We have earnings next week. Um, it was driving lower due to a neck, an accident that happened, unfortunately, and we had uh, two people dying in the accident. However, it was covered uh, through a few investigation, and I think uh, Elon Musk was saying that the uh, autopilot was not enabled uh, during, the, uh, during the accident. So basically, a lot of people are now more bullish on it. Uh, there is a price target that was increased, um, on the um, on the ticker, so basically we took off from there, took profit very early, and as we said with the Roku uh, play, the profit we took was at first resistance lines, which was support from the pre-market, 
And here, you see, pre support pre-market. This is where we we took first profit. And there are a few lines, you know. All this here is old support that should or could become um, a resistance. And same thing here, this line here, and it's a little lower here. Well, you see that it gets rejected here and then it keeps going afterwards. And this, same thing. It was just a little bit below and then it kept on going. So it ended up, it ended up being a Tesla day, super high. However, you have to remember that um, the idea is taking profit on the way up, taking profit on your targets that you're comfortable with because you have a plan behind your head behind, and a plan that is written down before you enter the play. And like I always say, no one will ever go bankrupt selling green. So I hope this is helping a little bit on how to build a watch list. Um, remember, look at news, earnings, what's moving, who's into uh, something, and earnings that are coming up. And I hope this is helping. Let me know. Take care, folks.